Signs of blood clots in the leg depend on whether the clot is in the artery or the vein. When the artery is blocked, it produces pain, pallor, coldness of the leg, loss of sensation and paralysis. If the occlusion of the artery persists for a long period, the limb will become black with death of cells called as gangrene. This occurs when the block occurs abruptly. In a gradually progressing obstruction, one first notes pain in the legs on walking or claudication. This pain subsides with rust and recurs on walking. Distance at which pain starts is an important indication of the severity of obstruction. More severe obstructions produce pain on walking for a short while. Claudication distance is the distance at which one has to stop walking due to the pain. Claudication distance can improve in the long run when the leg develops its own collateral blood vessels. This process can also be enhanced by graduated exercise program and medications. Clots in the veins can occur when one is bedridden after major illness, surgery or fracture. This can be prevented to some extent by active or passive movements of the legs while taking rest. Medications can also help to prevent clot formation in the veins. Clots in the vein obstruct return of blood from the legs to the heart and lungs. The legs will become swollen and painful with a bluish red color. Clots in the veins can migrate to the lungs and produce pulmonary embolism, a potentially fatal condition if it is massive. Clots travel up from the blood vessels in the legs through the blood vessels of the abdomen into the heart and then the lungs. Clots blocking the blood vessels of the lungs produce breathlessness, fall in oxygen saturation, fall in blood pressure and sometimes chest pain. Hemoptysis can also occur in pulmonary embolism, especially when there is associated pulmonary infarction. This needs emergency treatment. Blood clots in legs can occur due to several reasons which have been discussed earlier. The chance for occurrence depends on whether the original cause is still there or has been resolved. Those who had clots in the legs after a surgery or delivery can get a recurrence if they undergo the same again, otherwise less likely. Similarly, those who had blood clots in the legs after a long air travel, the so-called economy class syndrome, should take precautions for prevention during next long-haul flight. Simple preventive methods have also been discussed earlier. Some studies have placed the chance of recurrence at around 10% at 1 year and 40% at 10 years. But this figure is variable among different studies. Still, there is no doubt that there is a definite risk of recurrence unless you are meticulous about the preventive measures. The chance of recurrence is higher in those who had clots without being bedridden or the other reversible factors mentioned in the beginning. Genetic predisposition can be there in some individuals who have an abnormal blood clotting tendency. This can be detected by blood tests done during the interval period, though a detailed testing may be expensive. In the initial days after the episode of blood clotting, the most important method to prevent recurrence is to take the medications as prescribed regularly. Some of the medications may need regular monitoring of blood clotting function to assess efficacy and prevent bleeding episodes. Those who developed clots after air travel, surgery or after delivery can consult their physician regarding the preventive medications needed next time. Long-term preventive medications are considered for those who have recurrent episodes and in those who have an active risk factor like cancer under treatment. During long haul flights and while resting after surgery or delivery, emphasis is to provide as much movements of the legs as possible to prevent the blood flow becoming sluggish. Elastic graded compression stockings are another option. In the hospital, intermittent pneumatic compression devices are also used often for prevention of blood clots in legs. Lifestyle modifications are useful just as in other diseases of heart and blood vessels. Maintaining an ideal body weight and weight reduction in case of obesity are useful. Enhanced physical activity, 
as much as permissible by medical conditions if any is also important. Smoking being a risk factor for clot formation should be stopped. Caution with leg massage may be advisable in those who had a clot because it could displace a clot and cause migration to the lungs.